The Boston Bugle, trumpeting truth for over 50 years. Front page news, October 9th, 2077 to October 23rd, 2077. Copyright the Boston Bugle, blah, blah, blah. Article 1. Case closed on crime boss Eddie Winter by Mags Vecchio, Boston Bugle staff writer. In a move that has shocked and angered the people of Massachusetts, the Boston Police Department announced last night that they have ceased all investigations into the actions of reputed organized crime boss Edward Eddie Winter. Speaking on behalf of the special task force that has been, had been assembled specifically to build a case against Winter, Captain Jonathan Widmark of the BPD said, after reviewing the evidence with our colleagues at the Bureau of Alcohol, Drugs, Tobacco, Firearms, and Lasers, it became clear that we were in fact wrong. Eddie Winter has indeed had a colorful history, but it is not a criminal history. By pursuing our case against Mr. Winter, we would simply continue to waste taxpayer dollars and, even worse, condemn an innocent man. It was an unexpected turn of events, to be sure. According to the Boston Bugle's confidential sources within the Boston Police Department, the innocent man was anything but. As uncovered by Captain Widmark's official investigation, codenamed Operation Winter's End, get it? Eddie Winter was involved in every crime imaginable. Really? Did he steal people's dogs? From petty larceny to first-degree murder, I don't know why I thought of stealing dogs, and although nothing was proved, proved, nice writing, everyone on Widmark's task force suspected Winter in the August homicide death of their lead detective's fiance, a Miss Jennifer Lands. Good board. Whatever the truth, it would appear the city of Boston has nothing more to fear from Eddie Winter. When approached for comment, the alleged crime boss could not be reached. In fact, his South Boston sub shop, hmm, sub, that sounds good, has been shuttered and his harborside residence completely cleaned out. Eddie Winter, it would seem, has disappeared. Oh, goody, there's five of these. China Showdown, the Atomic Ultimatum by Mags Vecchio, Boston Bugle staff writer. War. Has there ever been any extended period of time in recent memory in which soldiers have not fought, bled, and died, all for the sake of furthering the political goals of one government or another? The short answer is no. The longer, more terrifying answer is that we have not yet begun to experience the extent of human suffering. From Anchorage in frigid Alaska to Shantou on our enemy's doorstep, American troops have been embroiled in brutal battle. They have taken and lost many lives, a nearly uncountable number, but not entirely because the truth is the casualties have been countable. These conflicts, however horrible, have all been in some inexplicable perverted way manageable. Through taxes and various wartime revenues, the United States government has been able to fund a standing army the likes of which this country has never before seen. The same is certainly true of our mortal foe, China. And with each dollar spent comes a natural accounting of how that dollar was spent. This is written great. Every bullet, every bunker-busting bomb, every body bag, soon after each is used in the theater of war, we know every how, when, and where. But the sad, obvious truth is that the days of manageable war have nearly come to an end. In the minds of the world's great leaders, those billions of dollars haven't merely been spent, they've been wasted. Because here we are, after more than a decade of constant warfare, with no clear end and no clear winner in sight. So really, at this point, what other option do these superpowers have if not the nuclear one? And therein, of course, lies the rub. For when China or the United States launches its nuclear missiles and drops it, its atomic bombs, there will be no one left to count the casualties, let alone the ordnance. No one left to declare victory. So then only one question remains. Is there any way the powers of the world can prevent a nuclear apocalypse? If there is any hope left for the world, we must believe the answer is yes. Eh, but these are hopeless times. All right, let's keep reading the paper. Article three, Boston food riots continue by Buster Connolly, Boston Bugle staff writer. And what can only be described as a scene of absolute pandemonium on Friday afternoon, soldiers of the United States Army's 184th Infantry Regiment opened fire on a group of unarmed civilians after an unknown person smashed the plate glass window of the Roxbury Food Bank, prompting several people in the line outside to storm into the establishment. As of yesterday evening, at least four people were confirmed dead and eight others injured, but Jonathan Corman, spokes, per, spokesman for the Army, insists the troops acted within their authority. 
The soldiers in question issued explicit verbal warnings several times. Those people knew exactly what would happen if they broke the line and attacked the food bank. Hungary is no excuse for civil disobedience, vandalism, or in this case, starting a riot that puts the lives of every civilian in the area at risk. It is the role of the United States Army to maintain order in this difficult time, and that is exactly what happened in this instance. I would also like to point out that the soldiers of the 184th Infantry Regiment have not had a food ration in two days. These men and women understand hunger probably better than anyone. It is a response the American people have grown accustomed to as violent scenes like the one in Roxbury have played out again and again across the country as a starving populace tries desperately to obtain food for its families. And as has happened so many times in the past, the civilian witnesses of the so-called riot tell a different tale. 85-year-old grandmother Hannah Henry was in line at the food bank and claims the soldiers had anything but order and liberty on their minds. They were laughing, joking about who they were going to shoot first. It was all a game to them. Those soldiers may not have fired into the crowd, well, fired on the crowd before that window got broke, but they was looking forward to it all the same. Only one can hope that the violence in Roxbury will be the last such incidents our country has to suffer through. But until America finds the strength to question its domestic policies and the food to feed its people, the future remains uncertain. Article 4. White House Remains Empty, Where Is Our President? By Mags Vecchio, Boston Bugle Staff Writer. For more than half a year, the West Wing of America's most famous residence has remained shrouded in near-complete darkness. A skeleton crew of manual laborers remains on staff to maintain the property, but nobody has lived or worked politically there for several months. And even though the White House press corps was unofficially and unceremoniously disbanded around the same time, the media has remained steadfast in answering that most important of questions, where is our president? At first, the assumption was that the entirety of the United States government had moved op operations to Raven Rock, the military operations center located in the mountains, mountainous region of Pennsylvania, just a few miles northeast of the presidential retreat in Camp David, Maryland. But further investigations have revealed that neither the president nor his cabinet have been to the Raven Rock complex in over a year. So if not Raven Rock, then where? Thanks to an extensive and exhaustive investigation, the Boston Bugle has uncovered the answer, and our readers will likely consider it as strange as it is shocking. The president has been leading our country from a Poseidon Energy oil rig just off the coast of San Francisco. It's certainly an odd choice for a presidential command center. Or is it? Not as much as it may seem, as our investigation discovered. Thanks to the testimony of a highly placed anonymous source the Boston Bugle has learned that the official designation of the oil rig is actually Control Station Enclave, giving credence to the long-running rumors of a secret militarized shadow government known as the Enclave that would take control of the United States in the event of a nuclear conflagr conflag conflagration. <laughs> I remember the Enclave from uh, Fallout 3. And so the mystery of the missing president has finally been solved, but in doing so, has the Boston Bugle also uncovered evidence that the end of the world in the form of total atomic war is also at hand? Sadly, the president's silence seems to speak volumes. One more article. Boston headed for first World Series win since 1918 by Buster Connolly, Boston Bugle staff writer. Of course, in the real world, we know that Boston won the World Series in uh, 2004, is that right? And then again in 2009, is that right? I can't remember. I used to know all that stuff, man. I can still tell you who won the World Series in like the 70s and the 80s, but as I get older, I don't remember, sadly. Anyway, as every resident of Boston is painfully aware, it has been 159 years since this city has reveled in the joy of a World Series victory. Whether from a, whether from strikeout error in the outfield or ball that rolls disastrously through an infielder's legs, defeat has remained our constant unwelcome companion. But not for long. In what has been one of the most exciting World Series races in decades, Boston has achieved a three games to none lead over the unbeatable Texas favorite. Now see, this is stupid because Texas is also in the American League. So both these teams are in the American League, what are they doing playing in the World Series? 
Anyway, batting, fielding, and pitching have all aligned thanks largely to the direction of legendary coast coach Dusty Wilder, giving this year's team the best chance they've had for victory in, well, forever. Even more encouraging than Game 4 being played here in Boston is the fact that the team has yet to utilize their star pitcher, Matt the Missile Murtaugh. With him on the mound, some are actually predicting not only a series-shattering win, but a no-hitter to boot. Yes, for years, the concession stands of Boston have fed baseball fans a steady diet of beer, hot dogs, peanuts, and bitter defeat. But on Saturday, October 23rd, 2077, the only thing that could snatch away victory is an act of God or some obscene calamity of man. I think this is the day the bomb dropped, October 23rd. Tomorrow, my friends, the unthinkable will finally come to pass, and life in Boston will never be the same again. Isn't that the truth? Well, if you stuck with me through all those articles, I thank you for your patience. I, you know, it was kind of interesting. Pretty interesting stuff, learning a little bit about this world that we are now a part of. Uh, I'm not going to pick all this stuff up. I've got enough stuff. I don't need to be picking up this miscellaneous stuff. So, um, our job is to uh, go upstairs to the roof to uh, place the Mila, but... Uh, We've never been here before, so I kind of want to check the place out a little bit. These narrow stairs going down here. Man, look at this place. What is this sticking out of the wall here? That's weird. What a mess. What a mess. Pre-war money and a coffee cup. Now, I just said I wasn't going to be picking that stuff up, didn't I? Didn't I? But we're going to look around down here. Because we might find stuff like this. Okay. Is that all that's down here? we got some terminals over here. Here's a... Is this the same terminal as... Oh gosh, I hope this is the same terminal as upstairs. I hope there's not new, more stories to read. Uh, let's see. Cult. No likenesses. Seek. One likeness. Adds. No. Lake. No. Gave. No. Sell. That has two likenesses. Cane. Slap. There we go. Okay, so these are all the same stories. Needed to read them again. Unless you want me to. I mean, if you want me to read them again. I'm not going to read them again. Alright, well, that's all that's going on down here. Let's go back up. Is this as big as this place is? Oops. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, cool. Small place, huh? This will take us back out to Beacon Hill. And, uh... Maybe allow us to place the Mila. Or at least bring us to some stairs or a fire escape or something that will let us to go up on top of this roof. Because I don't feel like we're that high up. Although we did take an elevator and we don't know how long the elevator was. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. We are way up here. Box of San Francisco Sunlights. I don't know, that sounds important. Okay, here's where we place the Mila. Mila Mila. Okay, we placed it. Now we head back to Tinker Tom. You know what's funny is that I'm in uh, Power Armor. I could jump off of here. I could. Just enjoying the view. It's a nice view. I mean, it's a neat view. I don't know if it's nice, but it's neat. All right. Back to Tinker Tom. In Railroad HQ. And, I don't know. Is he going to have more of these things for us? <laughs> Good grief. Ugh. Probably. Probably will. Word is Diamond City is under opposition control. <laughs> 
Hey, you keep placing meters, and I'll keep paying you. You uh, got the time? I got oh, good another lord, site. really another, another one. one of my babies. All right, he gives us another Mila. Here to check out the latest and greatest. To complete That's Weather Vane, the Boston Bugle. All of these are grayed out because we've already asked him all of these. I gotta go. Right, you are. I gotta go. Okay, Weather Vane Fordley Fish Packing Plant, another place we've already been to. Man, Fordley. I mean, we've already been here, so yeah, we should just be able to run in here, set this thing up without any resistance whatsoever and place the meal on on top man yeah we've been here seems like we've been here a couple of times although i don't know why we would we would have come more than once uh i think we came here one time just to clear the place out for a settlement i think there was a settlement that was being terrorized by some super mutants yeah. so Go over here. Oh, it's a suicider. Got some ghouls here. I'm not afraid of no ghouls. Going in. <laughs> the heck with this outside crap. <laughs> we'll just go in. Oh, damn it. Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. The crap has been scared out of me. Jump over this? Oh, I guess not. Not in power armor. So maybe I'll go this way. Get away from me. So again, I've already cleared this place out. I'm not going to bother to uh, loot it. Uh, this way? It's telling me to go this way. Wait a minute. It's telling me to go outside. Right? Is that where it's telling me to go? I'll go away. How do I get out of here? So there's some stairs here. Go away. Yeah, it's telling me to go back outside. Okay, was I not supposed to come in here? Huh. Alright, we weren't supposed to come in here. Actually... Do I remember there being stairs on the outside we could climb? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh well, we just took a quick tour of the place. I'll go away. Okay. Right here. Yeah, go this way. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look how worried I am about this stuff following me. <laughs> I'm invincible, man. I'm wearing power armor. Oh, shut up. I don't know how far these things will fall. Oh, what happened? Oh, well, something's dying. Not in here. Boy, there's a lot of them. Oh, here we go. Place it. See you later, bye. <laughs> Drive-by Mila placing. I love it. Okay. Report back to Tinker Tom. That's how you do it, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Alright, Tinker Tom. Again, it's nighttime. Get up. What are you what's going on here? Well, I guess um, you know. You find yourself a mattress and you lay down. Even if there's already somebody there, the heck with it. You just lay down. I'm over here. Don't you dare lay down. You must not be afraid of heights with all the work on the Mila project. Eh, I'm good. On another vanish. Oh my gosh, another one? You got the time. Another one. Or you could just do some shopping. Another one. I gotta go. Right you are. I gotta go. Okay, where's this one gonna be? Is this also at a place I've already been to? And Parkview Apartments location. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. Have I been here already? It sounds familiar. Oh, Parkview Apartments. This is, um... This is in Diamond City, right? Right? 
Parkview Apartments. Yeah, I think this is... I think this is in Diamond City. Well, hopefully Diamond City isn't uh, hostile towards us. I don't think it will be. I don't think so. Diamond City, huh? You know, they ain't real fond of ghouls in this town. Oh, that's true. They're not. Oh, wow. It's telling me to go out here. Okay. Hmm. It's telling me to go out to the Fens. Huh. Alright, I'm not really sure where this thing's telling me to go. I guess we'll we'll find out here real quick. Uh, it would be interesting to walk around in there with uh, Hancock to see how they felt about him being there. And isn't his brother the mayor of Diamond City? That's right, isn't it? That could have been interesting. But... This is where the game is telling me to go, and I always go where the game tells me to go. Okay, so... I'm supposed to go get out our weapon. I'm supposed to go in this direction? I'm not real sure where we're going. Huh? Go around here. Well, I mean, luckily, Diamond City Security... There's our apartments right there. Diamond City Security isn't hostile. So this is the place here. How do I get in it? I know I've been up there before. I remember getting up there. But I don't remember how we got in. And I remember there being a lot of resistance around here. Yeah, there's a bunch of super mutants over there. Um, well, it's dark out here. Parents said... That's not a door. How do I get into this place? You're fine now. Uh, well, not that way, huh? Hmm. There's some doors. Let's try that. Apartment building. Let's see if this is where we're supposed to go. It was awful quiet out there. <laughs> there wasn't any music playing or anything. Um, oh. Have I been in here? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I love the way she says that. That just cracks me up. Uh huh. I disarmed your stupid Nothing. thing. Sure huh? This place doesn't look familiar. Oh, what? It's telling me to go outside. What the hell? It's telling me to go outside. Is, is this not the right place? Wait a minute, what the hell is going on here? I'm not too pleased. It's telling me to go this direction. Look at, look at me, I don't even care about these guys shooting at us. Grenades, on the other hand, you might be able to get my attention with a grenade. Alright, nothing back here. What am I supposed to be doing? It's point me. Park view apartments. Oh, maybe I haven't been here. Ha ha ha. You're dead. Uh, take your stuff, why not? I'll take your cigarettes too. Park view lounge. It's telling me to go this way. This place is a little heavily guarded, right? Alright. Well, I'm going to end my play session here. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we'll figure out how to get into Parkview Apartments and uh, see if we can't place this Mila. So, sounds exciting, doesn't it? I think so. I'm well, sure to hope you've enjoyed this play session. If you have, won't you let me know by leaving me a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you join me again in the next episode.